Hi, I'm going to give a quick introduction to a great video authoring tool called TouchCast. What it does is it allows you to create a video like this one and then insert different media elements like videos, web pages, images, Google Maps, and lots more. And these things are fully interactive uh, for your viewer if he or she is using the Chrome or Safari browsers or is watching it on the TouchCast app itself. So let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. I'm going to insert some elements into my video here. So these are three different resources about the Golden Gate Bridge. So let's say we have a student who's maybe she's doing a research project on the bridge or maybe she's uh, explaining the physics of the bridge or she's doing a language exchange and making a video for a student in another country. Well, she can insert these elements, talk about them, and you, the viewer, can interact with them much as you would on the web just by clicking on them, and uh, then they are fully functional. So, and you can also pause uh, the main video while that's happening or uh, be looking at something while you're also hearing the video. I'll close these now and show you another example. Uh, let's pretend we have a student who's she's doing a project on mathematics inspired buildings so she might call up some images of those and explain the math behind them and I'll close those and then show another neat feature let's say the same student wants to uh, get a little more detailed she can use the whiteboard and actually draw on the uh, her screen while she's talking about the mathematics involved with uh, the building. And we'll look at one more example of a, of a whiteboard use. Let's say we take a screenshot of a Google map and then maybe we want to talk about uh, the geology of a certain area for our science class. Or perhaps we want to talk about the movement of people over time in a history class or there's many other um, many other uses for the, the whiteboard function I think. Uh, last we'll look at a great and very powerful feature of this app which is the ability to transport you in time and space which is pretty good for a free app I think. We'll check it out. Okay here we are. I've traveled to Paris, France. Uh, behind me is the Seine River and you can see the Cathedral Notre Dame on the island. I think I'll walk up to the bridge and go have a look at the front. Here I'm in front of the cathedral and it's fantastic and while I'm here I could perhaps uh, look at some of the iconography and uh, present my research on that to you. I think I'll go inside now. Wow, inside the cathedral is stunning as well. Uh, really beautiful in here. We could, while we're in here, uh, talk about the uh, symbolism of the structure of cathedrals. We could also uh, look at a web resource and dive further into the history of Notre Dame. But instead, I think we'll go upstairs, check out the roof. All right, here I am on the roof of Notre Dame with my little friend uh, beside me, and we're both enjoying the view of Paris, including the Eiffel Tower in the distance. So I think you can see that TouchCast is a really powerful, diverse app. It's a great way to present lots of different information, and it uh, really demands skills of evaluation in uh, looking at your resources, synthesis, in bringing them together in a coherent project and organization. Uh, you can write a script and read it on the teleprompter, uh, so your writing skills are involved, and then, of course, your presentation skills. So there you go. TouchCast, thanks for watching.